Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. We've got a beautiful spring day with us today folks. I'm out here fishing the Grand River, the lower part of the Grand River on the other side of Dunville. And I've got Antonio and Tony with me today. Antonio's a little other than the weather. He's having a nap right now as I'm getting set up and that's okay. Um, but the rig I'm gonna use today, we're, we're looking for channel catfish today. The beauty of the spring is everything is running. We could go for perch, uh, we could go for crappies, we could do a number of things, but today we decided we're gonna fish for channel cat. And I'm using a sliding sinker rig, uh, and it's a very simple rig and very, very effective rig to use when fishing for, uh, for catfish. There's a number of different rigs you could use, this is just one of them. And what I've done is, uh, to make this rig, you slide a sinker up on your line first, and then what you do is you tie a T-turn on the end of your line right there. And then from the T-turn, the beauty of the T-turn is I actually have the option of running two baits. And you can see here, I'm gonna run, I've run two hooks, a shorter hook, a shorter line to a hook, and then a longer line to a hook for those channel cats. So I'm gonna have two baits out there. The advantage of that is two baits means a little bit of extra scent in the area, got a better chance to get in the, getting a bite. And the hooks I like to use, I like to use a big uh, 5 aught hook. And this one, I really like this hook because it's a heavy duty hook and it's got a nice long shank to it. And with that long shank, it allows you a better ability to take the hook out of the fish's mouth. So today we're using cut bait. We've got some common shiners uh, that uh, actually Antonio got a little earlier, which is great. He's always great for catching those bait for us. And uh, we're gonna hook up with some fresh bait get out there and see if we can get into some catfish. So stay tuned folks, we're hoping to have a great day on the water. So folks, I'm rigged and ready. I'm gonna cast it out there and looking at the graph here, first of all, the water's 52 degrees, so it's still very cold. Uh, at the back of the boat, we're running at 21 feet of water and then it gets shallower in there, it moves up to nine, 10 feet. So we're gonna kinda stage the area. I'm gonna, I tossed it out there in 20. Tony's fishing in about 15, and Antonio's trying the shallows right now at about 9, 10 feet. So what we wanna do is see if we can figure out a pattern where these catfish are holding, and, uh, and then maybe once we know that, we'll all fish in that same area. So right now I'm in there. We anchored up earlier. I've got an anchor off the front of the boat, an anchor off the back of the boat, so to keep us somewhat stable here and allow us to, uh, to detect a bite very, very nicely. Oh, and Tony strikes first, eh? So you're right on the break in that 15 feet of water, eh, Tony? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Looks like you got a decent fish on there. Got any weight to him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's yeah. peeling drag, Tony. Oh yeah. That's nice. You gotta love that, Tony. Okay. Oh, he's staying down yeah. there. You got a good fish. You got a good fish. Oh, there he is, there he is there, Tony. It's a nice one. Right off your T-turn. Yeah. He just doesn't want to come up. Oh, that's a nice channel cat right there. Tony, there you go. That's a nice channel catfish. Right there, Tony. Nice fish. Whoa, that's a chunk. Well, he's about, what, 10 pounds? Yeah, he's a good 10. He's a good 10, eh? Solid 10 pounder. Beautiful. Okay, so he came in about 15 feet of water. Yeah. That was a subtle bite, you said, eh? Yeah. He just kind of, yeah, just kind of picked it up yeah, and. Uh, yeah, he picked it up and uh, walked with it. Kind of walked away with it. That's yeah. what they'll do. They'll pick it up and then they'll, they'll melt it and then they'll, they'll run with it. And that's why I like this sliding sinker setup because it allows them to, to take off and there's no resistance on the line at all. Yeah. Beautiful fish. There you go, Tony. Yeah, nice. First fish of the day. Yeah. yeah. Back in it goes and. Lay those eggs and nice. Okay, folks, you talk about a subtle hit. This one bit, bit, stopped, bit, bit, stopped, and then just kind of picked it up and started moving with it, and that's when I set the hook. Antonio, we got him up, we got we woke him up, folks. I'm still half asleep. He's still <laughs> half asleep and not feeling too great, eh? Getting there. I'm running 10 pound, uh, actually, we're in 20 pound braid, and then off the T turn, I've got 10 pound test mono going to, uh, to my hooks, so not that heavy. Oh yeah, doesn't feel as big as Tony's, but feels like a decent fish. There he is, oh yeah, nice, hey, 
It's Mr. Good. Channel Cat. Let's see, Antonio's got a nice brown color to him, eh? Now, I think at this time of year, you get those bigger channel cats coming in off the lake. And that's why I like this particular spot in Dunville on the Grand River, uh, the lower Grand, because they come in off the lake. But this one looks like a, uh, a river fish, uh, all brown, beautiful. Nice hook set. Look at that, Antonio. That's nice. why I like these long shanked hooks. Hey, there we go. Nice fish. Okay, Mr. Channel Cat. Back in you go. Hey, Antonio, come to the back of the boat. He finally, he finally smartened up and come to the, come to the deeper water, eh, Antonio? It paid off. It paid off. I got to tell you a little story, little folks, while he's landing that fish. He's using my spare fishing rod. <laughs> he grabs his rod this morning in a hurry. I told you he wasn't feeling too good. Comes out, we get out on the boat. He goes to grab his reel. No handle on his reel. Classic. <laughs> I should have let him stay fishless all day, but that's okay. I always bring an extra rod. You never ever know what's going to happen. And that happens to be just a lighter rod, but it's doing the job for Antonio today. I think I got you beaten size though. It's not huge, but... Good one? Nah. I mean, it's good. It's not, it's not huge by any means fish I'm not used to reeling this way. So. <laughs> yeah, you usually reel the right hand. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's funny. I'm I'm right-handed, but I crank with my left. And personally, I think that's better. I know you do it the other way, Antonio, but I like to set with right with my right hand. I like to set the hook cuz that's where all my power is, and my left hand can easily crank. So This looks like a, a decent fish. Got that, uh, oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nicer fish right there, folks. Okay, and that's on my lighter rod that uh, that I brought as a spare, and uh, that's 10 pound test mono, that's all that's on there. And you're running the T-turn as well, eh, Antonio? Of course. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice catfish, folks, right there. Beautiful color, nice size. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, Antonio. That's Another a chunk. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think you've got yourself, here, you take them out. I think you've got yourself a female. I'll let you have the honors. That's definitely a female, full of eggs. So these fish have not spawned yet. I mentioned uh, earlier the water temp was 51, 52 degrees. Ooh. Yeah, I love it when they bite down like that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got me good. Okay, well, you got. We need the pliers. Yeah, if you could. You want me to take it out? Well, you can take your finger out first. No, you don't have your finger in. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice fish, Antonio. No, seriously. <laughs> He's clamping down. Just pull your finger out. Hang on. You guys are a long way from home, eh? There, there you go. Wait a second. There, how's that? Wow, he's clamping down hard. There you go. That's nice. a nice catfish right there, folks. Hey, Beautiful fish. Okay, back in she goes. Female getting ready to spawn. They do have a catfish tournament out here in Dunville. I've never fished it, but... I guess it's a very popular one. Nice fish, Antonio. Let's get back at it. I don't know if I lost him or not, Antonio. Ah, oh, you got it's him. It's a smaller fish. No, no, he's still on there. It's just a smaller fish. And that's why I like using this braided line, folks. You could detect every single bite, and this one was that not very much of a bite, I'll tell you that. And I'm using my medium action rod. Normally I like to use medium heavy, but today I'm using medium. Okay, he's pulling a bit, but... And I'm also using uh, the medium sized T-turn, which is ideal. Oh, here we go. There he is. Like I said, not as big as that last one. Nice fish. Hey. Good eater. Yeah, look at this, a beautiful. I mean, it's got the nice black dots on them. Beautiful catfish. Okay, and there is a good hook set too. We're gonna keep that one too, right? You wanted to have a fish fry, so. Sounds good. You know what, folks? The weather's getting hot, and the fishing's getting hot. We repositioned the boat here a little bit. I wanna tell you what, what, where we're fishing. Downstream here, it's narrow, and then it comes to a bay. And we're fishing right on the end of the bay here. And the reason we're fishing on the end of the bay is because we wanna fish that bay. And with the water running the downstream that way, we've got our baits here, so our, our uh, scent trail is riding run into that right into that bay and that's where those fish are coming up 
and grabbing our baits. So we're going to have ourselves a great day today. I know it. Folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning into today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. And as always, good luck and good fishing.